up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine Simone I know I look a hot mess with the braids on looking like Riley Freeman from Boondogs or Cleo from set it off but we about to fix that in a second so today I'm doing my first wig install ever and to start it off I'm gonna you know just put this cap on my head and cut the ears out before I actually put the got to be glue on there so yeah so I got this wig from Icy Hair, it's uh, straight and it's 18 inches and y'all will see that in a few minutes. So basically what I'm about to do here is just spray the got to be glue spray all around my hairline so make sure that it will stick to my head and once I like spray it all around I just left it on for about 20 minutes and then came back and started cutting it off. I also took a little got to be gel and then just put it on the little side right there because I know that's like the hardest part to lay down. So yeah, so I just put it on both sides. And then once I put it all down, I'm just going to wait about 20 minutes. And after the 20 minutes is up, basically what I'm doing before I cut the, um, the cap is putting a little powder foundation on top before I actually put the wig on so that it will blend more and look like it's a real scalp. And also to mention the powder I use, I got it from Fenty in the shade Honey. So now that I put the powder all over, I'm starting to cut the cap and then I'm just, you know, cut it as far back as I can all the way around on both sides. And then when it was like lifting a little bit, what I did was just like lay the scissors like straight on my head and then just try to cut it off as much as I could. Yeah, so just cut, cut, cut. So once I cut everything off, I'm just going to take a little got to be gel and then just put it on like the edge of the cap and I feel like this just give it a little smoother look so you won't be able to see it like when you actually apply the wig.
So once I smoothed out the edge of the cap, I'm just going to put in my powder foundation and, you know, just spread it across the actual lace on the wig. And now, you see me trying on the wig real quick. And I just put it against my hairline and then I'm about to cut out the uh, ear tabs so it won't be in the way when I actually apply it. So I did that on both sides. Just check to see and make sure that it fit and see if I didn't have to um, cut it anymore. So now I'm about to go in with some alcohol and rub it, make sure to get rid of all the oil and stuff in preparation and put the glue on there. So now I'm about to go in with my ghost bond glue and just make like dots on the cap and then dots on the skin and I saw someone do this on uh, their YouTube video so I think they're pretty easy yep, to making all them dots all along the hairline With a popsicle stick, I just spread it out. And I didn't put too much glue on there because then it would took longer to dry. So once I spread it all out, I just left it to dry until the glue was clear and then right after that I went and put another layer and then I just did the same process and then I think I put about three layers of glue on there so it would be nice and sticky because I do want to keep this wig on for a minute. So here I am, I'm just doing the same old process again. It's on the
so once I see that the glue is clear I'm gonna pull the lace forward and I'm gonna cut it into like three tabs so just that it's easier for me to um, bring it forward and place it on the glue so then I'm gonna start to bring that front part forward and place it over the glue a little bit And with my comb, I'm going to comb it and like really press the lace into the glue so that it really thick on there like good good. Dice is on the bank. So once I lay the lace on the glue, I'm just going to take this little silk scarf and wrap it around the lace and then I just left it on there for about 20 minutes before I actually cut the lace off. So once 20 minutes was up, I just take the scarf off and then I take a little eyebrow razor and I started cutting the lace off in zigzag motion. So yeah, I got these uh, eyebrow razors on Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I want to say about maybe four or five dollars and it came in a pack of three the one I got so I'll link it in the description below just in case any of y'all are interested in getting it so yeah so I'm just gonna cut it and I'm gonna do it slow not fast I didn't want to rush and mess it up since it's my first wig and I did not want to waste my money Alright, so my camera died while I was cutting the rest of the lace off, which is the most important part. But anyways, so after I cut all the lace off, I just took a hot comb and then just kind of, you know, comb my hair over at the end. And make sure it's really nice and flat. And yeah, this is pretty much the last step. I think overall this was pretty simple. I mean, it's a long process, but it wasn't that hard.
so it's been about maybe two, three days since I installed this hair and I absolutely love it because like the hair is really soft and I curled it the next day after I installed it and it really held the curl. Like I was impressed that it pretty much lasted the whole day without me even putting any products on it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting some IC hair. Um, I got this in straight and it was 18 inches. Yeah, the lace was cool. I think I could use less makeup on top. I think I put a little too much. Cause, I mean, it doesn't look bad, like it still look okay, but I'll just use a little less make time. Cause when I go in the sun a little bit, you can kind of see the lace a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, I would definitely get this hair again though, or just any hair from Icy Hair. I do want to uh, expand more. And the packaging was super nice. So the hair was pre-plucked, but I still did pluck it some to make it more la yeah, natural. So yeah, um, I did go ahead and put a little baby hair on the soil. I wasn't gonna do it the other day, but I was struggling and I was up to like 1 a.m. working on this hair, so I was way too tired. I mean, like I was saying, the packaging is really nice. This is what the box looks like. And they actually give you a little wig yeah, wig cap. It has like two of them in there. I didn't use it, but um, because I had already ordered some, I just wanted to use the one I already had. It was nice to know that they give you some, and this looks a little dark for me, but I'll still use it whenever I um, maybe decide to install another wig or something. They gave you the wig cap, and then they also gave you some more free lashes. I haven't tried them yet, but I definitely will. Like for my first wig and thought, I think I did pretty good. I watched like a ton of videos and I've been watching them for like a long time. So I kind of knew like what I had to do already. So now I think next time I know not to put too much powder on the actual uh, hairline whenever I choose to do it. Maybe when I bleach the knots, make the little bleach paste thicker because I mean, it bleeds pretty good, but you can still see a couple of them, but it's not horrible. I think I'll listen up more method to like really melt the lace in there so it looks like it is going on my skin. That's all I have for y'all today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment maybe some more videos that y'all want to see in the future. Oh, and I'm about to do a Q&A soon, so if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, comment below, and I'll make sure to shout you out. So without further ado, I'll see y'all in the next video.